Okay guys, Mr. G here with Union Battle 3, the Battle of Bull Run. Now, this was a long one, uh, so I did my best to edit this bad boy down into a viewable length, so we'll see how I did. Um, okay, so when you start out in this battle, uh, you're going to be trying to deal with this eastern flank here. And they say, look, you should just fake attack right here, and then uh, jog your way up around to the north. Well, uh, since I've played this before, um, I know that what you're going to do is you're going to attack these guys down here at the bottom. But if you try and sneak around to that river crossing up there, you're going to have a bad day because they've got a whole pile of guys waiting for you right there. So what I like to do here is I go ahead and I grab a whole pile of skirmishers and we're sending them even further north to get up and get around. Alright, we're going to set these skirmishers up here and around. We'll see how they do, and we're going to let these guys just keep these guys occupied, hammering with artillery, and just pound away. But this is just the beginning of this battle, so what we do here isn't hugely important as long as we don't screw up, which is pretty impossible this early on. So here we got, we've got a unit of artillery, and we've got an infantry brigade. Uh, there's another infantry brigade uh, guarding this other little... Uh, we call those ford in the river up there so we're just gonna park here wipe out this poor guy's cavalry oh, not a good move what were those guys doing they were like you know what i just we didn't enjoy living we just thought we would charge uh into a couple infantry brigades and some artillery you know very kevin costner right there in dances with wolves all right let's get these guys let's get these guys hoofing it around all right we're gonna Get them coming around from the top. They're skirmishers, so they get a little bit of a movement bonus. They can go a little bit faster. And let's just let these guys... Okay, we have reinforcements coming in from the northwest. We're going to get a few now. We're going to get a few more later. And then we're even going to get some more reinforcements from the northeast a bit later. So we've got to deal with this hill right here in the middle of the map. We need to take that hill. It is a, our objective. It's your standard war game objective. Capture the hill. So if we can deal with this eastern salient of dudes and uh, kind of get our forces together on the hill, we're going to be doing a little bit better. So if I could get my cavalry here to not wipe themselves out, uh, like I said before, not like total war cavalry. Um, you don't want to. You don't want to be overly aggressive with those guys. And these guys are just scouts, so they're kind of like a melee cav unit versus the skirmisher type dudes that are like mounted skirmishers so i'm still plugging away down there at the bridge eventually i need to just man up charge and take the bridge but like you guys said before i tend to be uh, a little bit too aggressive and lose too many guys um i'll tell you right now uh i lose a couple more infantry brigades in this battle i'm not doing a good job of keeping original brigades from battle one going so far. Uh, we'll see how I do. So if we can just clear this little section out, we can get things going up in the northwest. Yep, we've got a general down there. They're gonna have some forces coming up from the south for the remainder of Okay guys, let's get this done. Let's just go full saving private Ryan. D-Day, Normandy Beach here. Let's, let's charge across the bridge because we need to get our forces together and we need to get our butts to that hill. These guys being cut off from the rest of the army isn't doing anybody any favors. All right, let's see if we can use our cavalry with the rear flank and get some routing going on. There we have it. Nothing like seeing that white flag as long as it's not on your troops and it's on the other guy's troops. So well done, guys. They've got that covered. You can see we had some more reinforcements piling in from the north. Got my cavalry together here. So my army is a little bit strung out at this point. We've kind of got them all over the place. We still have a few straggling units here in the east. We need to deal with those, but then we need to form up and link up all our guys on this hill. So let's move our units up. And deal with booting the Rebs off of this hill. All right. Get these guys to move up here surround the enemy and let's take care of this situation all right you guys come on get deal with those guys come on there's like two of them they're running uh sending skirmishers 
Horseman Cavalry is good to deal with guys that are retreating. Um, I don't like to send an entire infantry brigade after retreating units. Um, it's something a skirmisher can do, so worth not wasting a whole a whole division on that. I don't mean division, sorry. Brigade. If I send a whole division after retreating guys, it will be pretty bad, even for General McFats. Alright, come on, cavalry. Can you, can you do this for me? Can you get this done? Alright, you guys, get your tails over there. Now this is a battle where it's going to go for a little while. You're going to be doing a lot of walking. Your troops are going to be getting worn out. They're not going to want to charge. And where did our sound go? There it is. Okay. So we're, we're moving these guys. We're getting them surrounded here. These guys are retreating right into our gunfire. We are okay with that. We're still dealing with stragglers here. And we have yet to capture the hill. We need to get that done. Right, let's get you guys up here. Okay, we got we got our army is a mess. I hate this part of a battle. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I always feel better when my troops are like organized. You know, we've got like a proper front going on. Although it feels like as soon as I get my troops organized, and then. Yeah, everything just goes to goes to hell. <laughs> it gets all messed up again anyway. So those of you that like everything just so, you feel my pain on this. Alright, at least we've got these guys surrounded up here on the hill. We're plugging away with them. We've got these guys fleeing here. They're going to flee across the river. Of course, uh, there's going to be a whole pile of rebel reinforcements coming up from the south. We're going to have to deal with later. I wish I was doing a little more of an efficient job booting these guys off the hill. Maybe we can get some flanking done here and finish this job once and for all. Oh man, those poor guys trying to hold the hill. There's what, like six units on one right there. Alright, we're dealing with some artillery right here. General McFats, let's get you in being a little bit more useful to the rest of the troops here. And then we're going to jump ahead. And uh, we're going to hear about rebel reinforcements coming in here in a minute. All right, we got to get artillery up. Get over there, you guys. Okay, what do we got? Oh, no. We've got more baddies coming. We've got to get up our little tails south to Henry Hill. We've got to take this bad boy. Okay, so the Confederates are going to come up. They're going to reinforce this thing. Okay, we've got to go take this thing. Okay. Well, guys, let's get it done. Why are these poor guys charging? I don't know. I'm not sure what they're thinking right there. Uh oh. Not into the artillery. That's that's bad news bears for the artillery. Well, my own fault for leaving those guys pretty much entirely undefended. So, oops. Let's do a little pause button. Pause button is always your friend when you've made an oop. Okay, dude bros, we need to get you guys consolidated, we need to finish off these stragglers, and we need to get our tails south, and look at that, we've got even more reinforcements. Alright, we need to move these guys down, I can't believe I'm still dealing with these guys running around over here, and now they formed up on the old defense right there, and cavalry, what are you doing? Don't do that, no, no, run, run, okay, so... We need to get organized. You can see I got just guys moving and running around all over the place. I'm feeling like compared to the first two battles, this one is just me chasing Confederates the whole first part of the battle. It's like they're constantly just retreating and I've constantly got reinforcements from the edge of the map, which means most of my guys are just worn out. Now we're finally getting a front forming up here. These guys are holding out. You know, on this little bend in the river right there in the woods, which, you know, good job, AI. It's a decent spot to hold out. And I'm telling you, the AI is a lot more difficult than I remember from the first go-around. Uh, I remember this battle just being easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. And right now, it looks like it's, it's fairly easy. Um, but in a minute here, when I get down to Henry Hill, it's going to get a little bit harder when it just gets to the point where we have to hold the hill. All right, you guys, get your tails up here. Come on, General McFats, get in there. I can't believe we still have these guys over here. We've got to deal with all on their lonesome. Um, dealing with units that are cut off from everybody else uh, seems like it would be a good priority. So, 
We're working on that. We need to get these guys over the river, through the woods, and up the hill to grandmother's house. I mean, Henry's house. Henry Farm. Okay, that was a terrible joke. That's all I've got right now, so I'm still moving units up. We've got these poor guys surrounded on this hill. It's like Vietnam. We're just pummeling the heck out of that hill. And then here we're flanking those guys. Come on. We've got other troops that we should be using to get onto the hill as well. Okay. Can't believe I'm still dealing with this. We'll clean these guys up here in a minute. Okay. Here we go. We've got decent amount of guys over on the west We've got a few guys over on the east to the north we are still plugging away at those guys those guys have got some good morale they're not breaking they're just hanging out there it's not easy to charge through a river the movement penalty that your guys take when you try and move them across the river is ridiculous especially if they're being shot at the whole time so you know what we are going to just not overplay our hand and not rush too much with that little, that little river bend crew. They're, they're getting hammered from all sides, so we'll leave that be. Now we've got a decent amount of guys moving up on the hill. We've got these guys routing. We'll move these guys across since they're not under fire, and we'll keep advancing here on the eastern flank right here. So we're going to take this hill. I mean, that's that's the foregone conclusion. But as always, the uh, Rebels are going to get a whole pile of reinforcements. And now I'm getting guys that are starting to break. Morale is not doing amazing. Okay, guys, let's end this over the river. At least attack. You guys over the river. You guys attack. You guys move down here a little bit. And look, we've got a general just hanging out back there. And I've got nobody to go run him. Okay. All right, we are finishing up taking this hill. I know, it seems like it's taken me forever to get this done. We've got the general surrounded, troops on all sides, artillery, and they're still holding out. Still quite, not quite broken. Come on, you guys. Sometime today. Let's, let's just move this up. I feel like I spend half of my time in this game just clicking and moving guys up. But you know what? To be fair, as a strategy game, uh, the controls are pretty good. You know, you WASD to move around, and you can just click, attack, you know, and they'll do their best to think. You can do shift, and give those circuitous root orders, where you can just click on an enemy, and they'll turn, face them, and, and do their best. And it's actually kind of nice, you don't have to worry about that whole formation business from the Total War, which, you know, I love about Total War, but I also kind of like in this that you're not fussing around with that. Okay. So, come on, guys. Just about done. All right, let's send you guys into some artillery. You guys firing at the guys hanging out in the old barn there. And what are you guys doing? You're hanging out in the river. That's not a good place for horses to hang out. Go get this general for me. Got some captured supplies there. Okay, so you can see I did it. I finally took the dang hill, and now I just have a ball of troops in a gigantic mess. And what do I have from the south? I have a huge death ball of rebel soldiers coming to wreck my face. That's uh, what my grade 5 students like to say all the time. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't heard that one before, I, I can't stop saying it. I hate it, but it comes out of my mouth. They rub off on me. All right. So we need to hold this hill. And I'm just doing my best to get these guys to halt and putting them in defend, which is what you want to do so that they do not attack and move. But you can't get them in the defend position until you get them halted and stopped. I've got my horse bros here running around. All right, these guys, can we do some cleanup on this artillery? Uh, this is going to cost us some guys. Maybe not my best tactical decision here. All right, I probably don't need to be spending forever on that. I need to be dealing with this situation up here. So I need to get some guys to those woods to the southeast. And I did, but I'm still, this is a mess. This is driving me nuts. And I've still got some units to the north giving me a hard time, which is a pain when you have to send, you know, two or three brigades to deal with some unit cut off from everybody else. If I'd fought this battle better, I would have dealt with those guys all the way, routed them and broke them and wiped them out. But instead, I didn't. I didn't do the best job on that. So now I've got scattered troops trying to get everybody uh, regrouped on Henry's Hill. I've got my my silly cavalry here almost getting uh, wiped out by an infantry brigade because I'm trying to steal some supplies here. 
Okay, we need to sort this business out. Alright, jumping ahead a little bit more, I've sort of got a front line decently formed up right now. Moving up to flank these guys a little bit here in the east, and then what happens? Of course, they're flanking me back. So the AI doing a lot better dealing with flanking and doing some flanking of its own. So hats off to the AI there. It used to be a lot easier to just get around and uh, play tricks on the AI. AI, always the bane of good single player strategy games. I know a lot of people have been posting on the forums like, can we get a multiplayer? And this game would be good fun in multiplayer. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad run at all. I've got my Total War Arena beta I need to be playing. But I can't post anything from it. I had to sign one of those non-disclosure thingy wants it, so that's no fun. But if you played that, that's a good quick multiplayer strategy game. My favorite multiplayer strategy game of all time has got to be Shogun Total War 2, if anyone's played that one. That one is good fun. You know, you get to... It's like this. You get your own army, you get to craft it, buff up the levels, keep the same guys, and you've got that campaign map where you can unlock new troops. That was good. I, that's too bad that Total War kind of let that peter out and fizzle out, but that's some of the most fun I've had in a strategy game in a long time. All right. We are, we're dealing with this. We're holding the hill. We're getting these guys surrounded. They're outnumbered. We're pushing them back. We're going to hold Henry's Hill, and winning this battle is a foregone conclusion, but if you've looked at my units that have ridiculous names like Hardballs, Dingleberries, who else do I have in there? What are the names? Uh, they're not doing great. I'm going to let my own guys get wiped out pretty bad. Uh, I would have totally redone this whole campaign if I hadn't already started YouTubing it, but I'm gonna keep it going through to the bitter end. We'll see if I can beat the Union campaign, and by beat it I mean get through all the battles that are included so far. Alright, come on you guys, finish this guy off. We got him like three to one here. You guys get your tails in there. Come on, sometime today. Firing away, those guys are broken. All right, they've broken all the way, so they're not gonna come back to bother us anymore. I just need to deal with these guys right here. And they're surrounded, those guys are fleeing. We've got it, cavalry, get your tail in here. This one's in the bag, although I'm not looking forward to seeing the casualty report. Spoiler, I forget to scroll down and actually look at it, and I'm like, oh, I must need to click okay to see the casualty report, nope. I just need to scroll down. So, you guys will not see how poorly I played this one, and part of me is okay with that. Alright, those hosers are stuck in the river. Let's hammer them while they're in the river. Let's get those guys on the run, moving them down. And this this should be pretty much done. Any second now, we should be getting some surrender options. By surrender, I mean we'll get the victory finished now. Now, can anyone tell me, answer this question for me? When is it worth it to keep fighting a battle? When you can capture a bunch of guys, when you're about to get to some supplies maybe, or when you haven't got an objective yet and you have a little more time to take an objective, because nobody likes ending with a draw. A draw is no good for anybody. Okay, let's fast forward here. We are nearly to victory. They're all routing. We got a couple units left. We got their general down here to the south. This is pretty much game over for the Rebels on this one. Just turn tail and run, Confederates. We've got this in the bag. Yes, we're going to finish this battle. Okay, now this is where I am terrible, and I realize I forget to scroll down and see the casualties. Uh, one thing that is interesting in this battle is we've got about exactly the same number of troops, which means I should have done a much better job against the computer. But hey, we, we got to win. And we got a whole pile of money because I put a ton of career points into cash, but I lost a bunch of my units. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I can at least upgrade this one infantry brigade, and I can upgrade my cavalry brigade. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend some cash. I'm going to try and get an extra division up. I am going to put a few more points into politics and economy so that I can just start saving money as soon as possible. Those seem like skills good to unlock really early in the game. Okay guys, I hopefully have not put myself at too much of a disadvantage for Battle 4. Wish me luck. I will catch you guys on the next one. Mr. G out. Oh, yeah,